millions of viewers tune in every single week to watch The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. And on Tuesday, Stephen Colbert on The Late Show spoke about, wait for it, Prince William and Rose Hanbury's alleged affair. The whole world is finally talking about this. And don't forget, the millions, millions of Americans, millions of people tune in to watch The Late Show. The Royal family has spent so much time ensuring that any talk, any conversation about William and Rose Hanbury's alleged affair never ever gets talked about. My family, it appears that the royal family can no longer hold off these rumors, this conversation, this talk anymore. They just can't. Another cat is out of the bag. The truth is being revealed. And my family, I'm enjoying every single moment of this. And my family, I want you to hear what Stephen Colbert said on The Late Show. That every single person on the planet is now finally talking about Prince William and Rose Hanbury's alleged affair. Please, my family, kindly hear my family little said by Stephen Colbert, my family. Go, go, go. <laughs> Here's something for those of you who are royal watchers, and I know you are, Lewis. Mm. I'm afraid I've got some troubling news about England's royal family. Um, I know this is your life's passion, Lewis, and I'm sorry. <laughs> As we were talking about on this show yesterday, the kingdom has been all flutter by the seeming disappearance of Kate Middleton. Well, now, internet sleuths are guessing that Kate's absence may be related to her husband and the future King of England, William, having an affair. <gasps> oh, no, my heart goes out to poor Kate. Now let's dish the hot goss. I'm ready to spill the tea. <laughs> Literally, Rizzio. <laughs> spill the tea, spill the tea, Stephen Colbert. Spill the tea. Thank you very much, thank you. you make spill the tea. Up. To share the stage with someone that handsome. <laughs> so, I think we all know who the alleged other woman is. Say with me, the Marchioness of Chalmondele. <laughs> what a beautiful name that I'm being told right now that I pronounced incorrectly. It Chumley. is in fact pronounced Chumley. <laughs> Counterpoint. No, it's not. <laughs> Learn English, England. Now, there have been rumors and affair between William and the marching band of chicanery since... 2019, according to tabloids back then, when Kate supposedly confronted him about it, he laughed it off, saying there was nothing to it. Aha, always a good response when your wife accuses you of cheating. Aha, imagine me having an affair, it is to laugh. It reminds me of a jape. Knock, knock, who's there? Oh, it's my illegitimate son. I've knocked up my mistress. The, the Marcus Mumford of... My family, did you hear that? I have knocked up my mistress. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. There was a picture that went viral. It's a picture of Rose Hanbury, whereby she is taking a photograph of herself pregnant right before giving birth to her daughter, who is believed to be Prince William's alleged daughter. My family, Rose Hanbury's daughter, who is rarely seen, is believed to be Prince William's alleged daughter. And my family, you are hearing even Thin Cobart <laughs> is speaking about an illegitimate child. He is speaking about an illegitimate child. A child acquired out of wedlock. It appears that everybody knows what happened between William and Rose Hanbury and what are the consequences of what happened between William and Rose Hanbury. The evidence lies 
in the child, in the daughter that Rose Hanbury gave birth to. The daughter of Prince William. Ah, allegedly, my family. Please continue hearing this, please. Uh, Stephen Colbert spills the tea. The, the Marcus Mumford of Chumbawamba is an old friend of the royals, and she's married to a close friend of William's, David Rock Savage. Really? Rock Savage? That sounds less like a British noble and more like a musician from the Flintstones. Rock Savage, what? I'm oh, sorry, I'm being told it's actually pronounced Chumbly. We got a great show for tonight. My family, you've heard that yourself. Now, I can only imagine what, for example, right now is going on between, you know, David Rock Savage and Rose Hanbury. And today, there is something else that I saw. My family, things just keep on getting weirder and weirder and my family really, really weirder. I'll tell you what happened, my family. I saw an article, my family, that said this, my family, that uh, Prince Williams, our little mistress, Rose Hanbury, divorcing husband after possible discovery made about her daughter. <laughs> Who? It appears that people have been known, knowing about this. I've known about this for a very, very long time. My family, let me read you some uh, news from my family, a Spanish-based media outlet called Marca. My family, please kindly hear this, please. That uh, claims have been made that Rose Hanbury is getting divorced from Count, my family, David Chumley. After he made a very shocking discovery about his wife. Rose Hanbury's name has been in the press for a while after it was reported that Prince William had been having an affair on K. Milton with Rose Hanbury, allegedly. And the two women used to be very good friends, but they no longer talk for a reason. In my family, the thing is, I want you to understand this. You know, sometimes it's always your closest friend who ends up betraying you. Sometimes it's always that person who's so, so close to you that ends up betraying you. That, that is envious, full of envy towards you. Feel envy because of what you have. You know? And my family, I do always pray, for example, for Harry Meghan, that the people who are around them are people who are genuine, are people who don't want to destroy the lives of Harry Meghan, the marriage between Harry Meghan. I pray that Harry Meghan have people who are around them that are genuine, loyal, truthful, my family, you know? Because if you can see what happened between Kim Wilson and Rose Hanbury, this was a close friend, and a close friend ended up sleeping with Kate's husband, allegedly, once again, my family, you know? And my family... Basically, right now, there is also suspicion that my family, Rose Hanbury, gave William a child. I mean, kindly just hear this, please. With rumors flying in all sorts of directions around some of the highest in British society, the latest school of thought centers around the possibility that Rose Hanbury and Charmley's child could actually be Prince Williams. Something that had not been confirmed in any way. This is because 
William and Rose Hanbury supposedly began dating back in 2014. And she became pregnant in mid-2015, giving birth to their daughter, Lady Iris Marina Aline Chamley in March 2016. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And then Harry Meghan met in July. My family, Harry and Meghan met around July 2016. And then my family, when that happened, you can understand why all of a sudden there were so much stories coming out about Meghan, about Prince Harry. Because it appears that the royal family were trying to cover this up. Using Harry and Meghan as distractions. Commanding the media to focus on Meghan Markle, on Prince Harry, and ignore these stories about Prince William. You know? Because I do remember that Dan Wooten, a while back, my family spoke about this uh, Rose Hanbury, Kate, and William connection, whereby Dan Wooten was saying that Kate had ordered Prince William to face out Rose Hanbury and he called you know Rose Hanbury a rural rival <laughs> now, now my family why would Dan Wooten use those words you know why why would Dan Wooten use those words my family because a couple of years ago the Sun Tablet published Dan Wooten's now infamous rural rival story, in which that he left enough breadcrumbs to indicate that Kim Wooten, then the Duchess of Cambridge, the Duchess of Cambridge, was trying to phase out Norfolk aristocrat Rose Hanbury, the Marchioness of Shamley. You know? And my family, it was left unsaid why Kate had such a bug up, you know, my family, you know, some some anger towards Rose Hanbury. But of course, people began gossiping, talking that indeed there was an alleged affair between William and Rose Hanbury. And when Kate found out, she got mad, angry, and tried to push Rose Hanbury out of their circle. The thing is, Rose can't be pushed out. She's married to David Rock Savage, who was, at the time, the Lord Great Chamberlain. My, my family, a hereditary role he held, which meant that he and Rose attended all of the fanciest royal events. And even when King Charles became king, he appointed David Rock Savage as his lord in waiting to. Why is that? Why is that? Why did Charles appoint David Rock Savage as his lord in waiting? Is it to keep him quiet? Is it to keep him quiet about those William and Rose Hanbury's you know, alleged affair? Is that the reason? My family. You know? And there's a long, dirty history here. Which people have uncovered now. Which the world is now talking about. Prince William and Rose Hanbury's alleged affair. That now is being leaked, linked to Kate's disappearance. Will the world see Rose Hanbury becoming the Queen of England? Is that going to happen? Is William going to leave Kate and marry Rose Hanbury? My family, that could be a possibility. I mean, if Camilla has shown us anything, if Camilla Parker Bowles has shown us anything, she has shown us that a mistress can ascend to the top class system in the UK. 
to the top role in the UK. And that is the Queen of England. Camilla was Charles' former mistress, who no one ever thought would ever even be Charles' wife, has even now gone so far as to become the Queen, Queen Camilla, as she's now called. And my family, maybe we'll see Queen Rose Hanbury. My family, and that does not, you know, spell good fortune for Kim Milton. That does not spell my family good fortune for Kim Milton. Things are not looking good for Kim Milton. One bit, things are not looking good. And different media outlets are asking this question. You know, who is Rose Hanbury, the Marchioness of Chamley? Who is she? The Independent. My family, a UK media outlet asked that question. Who is Rose Hanbury? Tatla Magazine is asking, who is Rose Hanbury? All of them, they are talking about this so-called William and Rose Hanbury's alleged connection. My family, another world, is talking about William and Rose Hanbury's alleged affair. The world is talking about this. The world is talking about this. My family, the world is talking about this. The world is talking about what's going on between William and Kim Milton and now Rose Hanbury. My family, and William is being exposed. William is being exposed completely. My family, you know, for a long time, I have seen the Rangers. UK media have calling for Harry Meghan's marriage to end. Calling for Harry Meghan to be the one to be the ones who divorce and leave each other. Because they can't stand seeing a woman of color married to a white prince, you know, Prince Harry, whom they believe is their own personal property. That Harry belongs to them, my family. And UK media, who are so so racist towards Meghan, can't stand seeing Meghan, you know, being Harry's wife can't stand seeing Megan being the mother of Harry's kids. And that's why even UK media have been trying to spread these racist conspiracy theories that the kids don't exist. Because they can't stand that Megan, one of color, gave birth to Archie and Lipidana. Gave Harry kids. Megan told us that whenever she was pregnant, the attacks, the bullying became even Worse. Became even worse, worse, worse on her. Why is that? Because the firm and UK media never ever wanted Megan to give her kids. They did not want that. Because Megan is biracial. That is one of the main reasons as to why they never wanted Megan to bear her kids. And that's why they put Megan through so much stress. Thinking. Or hoping that Megan will have a miscarriage. Sadly, Megan lost a child. But thankfully, God blessed her with my family, another child, Lilibet. So Megan had been through so many things. So much pain, so much suffering, so much anguish. And I do hope and keep on praying that no one, no one is able to come in between her and Megan. You know? Like what's going on between William and Kim Moulton. Harry and Meghan are an amazing couple. And I hope they fight for each other. And never allow anyone, no man or woman, to ever come in between them. And my family, you know, basically as we can see really, what's going on right now with this uh, Rose Hanbury, Williams, I did a fair. Everyone is now talking about this. This has gone completely viral. It is the talk of the entire world. I mean, just go on X, formerly called Twitter, and my family, do your own research. My family, everyone is talking about this. Everyone is talking about this. Everybody. Everybody, my family. You know? Everybody, my family, is talking about this. And this has gone mainstream media. This has gone mainstream media. You know? It's super mainstream. This is no longer just random internet gossip which can be shut down with a legal threat from 
Crystal Palace. No. This is American TV. And they are now talking about this. In the UK, the royal family has some control over the UK media. But in the US, it is difficult to control the US media. And that's why when William was coming to the UK for the Art Flip Awards, William did not want to speak to American media outlets because he feared being asked questions about his abuse of Megan, about his mistreatment of Harry Megan, about how he physically assaulted Harry. Because you don't hear UK media asking William those questions. You don't hear them. I mean, Carnival, all so-called experts can do interviews with Prince William, can do interviews with William, but they never ask him questions about Harry. Never. They never ever do it. Never. Have you ever wondered why? Why? Because think about this. When Harry is going to an event in the US, and let's say a big scandal has broken in the US, or some big news has come out. Let's say, for example, you know, the news about Charles, you know, cancer. UK media will go all the way to where Harry and Meghan are, or an event that Harry and Meghan are attending, to yell out questions about Charles and Kim Hilton. Harry, Charles has cancer. When are you going to see him? What's going on? They'll do that. They'll do that. But you'll never ever hear carnival of so-called experts go to events that Charles attends and be like, Charles, when are you going to say sorry to your son for the pain you caused him? Charles, when are you going to apologize to Harry Meghan for the hell they've been through? Charles, when are you ever going to condemn the racism that Meghan has experienced in the UK and in the royal family? Charles, you never hear that. You never hear that. Do you know why you never hear that? Because the palace has some control over the UK media, but they don't control most American media outlets. Maybe only the Murdoch on press. Page 6. TMZ. They can have some sway over that. But most American media outlets, most American TV shows like The Late Show, the whole family has no control over that. And that's why, my family, you can never ever hear this monologue being done in the UK. You can never hear it, my family. You know, you'll only hear it being done, you know, my family in the US. Whenever you want to hear some news about Kim Hilton, you'll find out some news about Kim Hilton, about how she is from a Spanish-based reporter. Because in the UK, the rotter fears being cut off by the royal family. And that's why they play ball with the royal family. And that's why also we say that all the attacks, all the abuse, all the incest towards Megan was fully approved by senior members of the royal family like Charles and William. They all approved the bullying of Megan, the bullying of an innocent, pregnant woman who just fell in love. The only thing she did was just fall in love. That's all Megan did. Just fall in love. And Megan, her name has been dragged through the mud for so long. All because she just fell in love with Harry, being a woman of color. Megan has been demonized. Megan has been dehumanized. Any insult you can think of, Megan has probably been called. All because she fell in love with Harry. That's all. My family. And that's a fact. That's a fact. What I'm telling you is a fact. You know? And my family, once again, I'm so sorry to Megan. And even Harry for what they've gone through at the hands of the farm and the UK media. And the farm did what they did to protect and cover this person, Prince William. This bully, Prince William. Who's always been full of envy towards Harry. Who has never ever wanted his own brother to prosper in life. Who has never wanted Harry to thrive in life. Never. William has only ever wanted to destroy his brother. And he can't stand seeing Harry free. He can't stand seeing Harry living his best life. He just wants to destroy his brother. He just wants to break his brother. That's all William wants. And my family, that's not going to happen. We are not going to allow William or anybody to destroy Prince Harry and Meghan 
And I do pray that her and Megan never ever stop fighting for each other. Because my family has always said, really, as Megan said even, what she has, you know, an amazing husband, an, an amazing partner, who is a hands-on father, a good man, a good husband, that's a blessing. And as I've always said, really, as long as Harry and Meghan have each other, they have everything they need. And no weapon formed against them will ever, ever prosper. You know? The fact that this mere campaign against Harry and Meghan continues, it's because it's been a complete and utter failure. And my family, this mere campaign will never, ever succeed. My family, you know. So my family, you know, right now, the truth has not been revealed. You know, about William and Rose Hanbury. And the world is talking. I can even see it that Tim and tonight are talking about Prince William and Kate's alleged, and, and Rose Hanbury's alleged affair, my family. <laughs> Everybody is talking about this. Everyone is talking about this. Everyone is talking about this. Every single person is talking about this. And apparently, cheating is a family tradition in the royal family. From Charles to William, they all cheat on their wives. I do pray and hope that Prince Harry never ever does that. But as I have always been seeing, really, is that I have been seeing how my family, you know, UK media want Harry to become more like Charles, more like Prince William, meaning evil. I've even seen headlines written saying that Harry should put Meghan in a place. They, they really want Harry to be cruel to Meghan. They want her to be like Charles, to be like Prince William, a cruel person, a cruel human being. In my family, Harry has shown the person whose heart he has is his mother's heart. And that's why I keep praying every day. Harry, don't ever become like Charles. Don't become like William. Harry, keep being the amazing man you are. Amazing father to Lily Petanachi. Amazing husband to Megan. Never ever change Harry. Never stop being an amazing husband to Megan. Never stop being an amazing father to Archie and Lily Petana. Never ever stop. You know? And uh, my family, basically, there is a family tradition in the, in the royal family. There is a family tradition in the royal family whereby from William to Charles to even the late Prince Philip, they all cheat on their wives. They all cheat on their wives. My family, and it's so sad. It's really, really so sad. It's so sad, you know. And my family, I do hope that uh, for Prince Harry, he never ever does that to Meghan. Like what Charles has done to Diana, did to Diana, you know, the late Diana. What Philip did to the late Queen Elizabeth II, you know, to his wife Elizabeth, the Queen. What my family, you know, William right now has also done to King Milton, allegedly. I hope Harry never ever does this to Meghan. I hope Harry never ever does this to Megan, my family. But Harry is a good man with a very good heart, you know? And my family, I hope he always keeps on being a good man, a good husband, and a good father. That he never ever stops being a good man, a good husband, and a good father. My family, you tell me right now your thoughts about what we have just discussed. Everyone is talking about my family, Prince William and Rose Hanbury's I did affair. My family, I want to hear your opinion on my family this. And William may have gotten his own mistress pregnant. My family. And Rose has a last born daughter called Iris, who's rarely even seen, who's actually never seen really. And why is that? You know, because clearly that child must be Prince William's kid. Once again, my family allegedly. Now, my family, it is so sad that Meghan and Harry have had to, have been bullied, have been abused, have been insulted just to cover for Prince William cheating on his wife. It, it, it's so sad. It's so sad. And it's so wrong. It's so wrong. 
For once in William's life, he needs to be held accountable for his own actions. He needs to. He needs to. And the blame should stop being passed from to someone else. Like what's been going on whereby Harry and Meghan have been used as a scapegoat to cover for William's you know, misdeeds, the family, William's evil deeds. I don't like it that Harry and Meghan have been used as scapegoats to cover Prince William. You know, and my family, it needs to end. That needs to end once and for all. My family. Now, someone else said that um, William is not being exposed. Indeed, very true. That's what's happening and going on the phone right now. Now, you tell me, family, talk about what we have just discussed. I want to hear your opinion, family, and may God bless you all, my family. And uh, stay tuned to our next video. Love you also forever, and may God bless each and every single one of you. The truth is finally coming out. The truth is finally coming out, and I'm enjoying every single moment of this. And thank you, Stephen Cooper, for covering this, you know, story. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for telling the truth. My family, it appears that everyone knows that even this uh, affair, you know, my family caused Rose Humber to get pregnant and give William a child. It appears everyone knows that. Everyone knows that. Now you know. Now you know. If you do not know, now you know. In my family, what I'm against is that Harry and Meghan have suffered being bullied, being, being abused, just to cover for William's affair. That now every single media outlet are finally itching to report about, are finally talking about. You know? My family, Harry and Meghan are good people. And the farm and the media must stop using them as scapegoats to cover and protect Prince William. My family, you tell me your thoughts about what we have discussed. I want to hear your opinion. May God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Lily Better and Dragon. And all of you, members of Quadratom, hey, never went to love and stay tuned to our next video. Love you. Also, for everyone, may God bless your family. And may no open form against Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Lily Better and Everspa. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you. Always and forever, and may God bless you all, my family. Hello, members of Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.